Hi guys. Welcome to Chinese Drama. In this video we are going to see top 10 best Chinese dramas you must watch in this year. 2024 is here and I have to say, it will be an incredible year for us Chinese drama lovers that's if no one gets cancelled again. I want to give you a glimpse of what 2024 has in store by giving you a list of 10 upcoming Chinese dramas 2024. So guys don't forget to subscribe and share for more upcoming updates about Chinese dramas. Number 1 of our list is Burning Flames. In ancient times, the Yun clan appeared in the world and was able to control the power between heaven and earth. While other races had previously bowed to this power, the human king Exion chose a different path and challenged the overwhelming power as a mortal. However, when he lost to Ditian, the king of the Yun clan, he perished in battle. At the cost of her life, the princess protected Prince Wu Gung from being chased by the Yun clan. Prince Wu Gung, filled with grief and resentment, was reduced to a low-level slave in a mine in Pingyang. However, he was determined to restore his country, oppose the Yun clan, and avenge his family. With the help of Fu Shi, the high priest of the Shenin ministry, Prince Wu Gung sought out allies for his quest to take down the Yun clan and win back his freedom. Number 2 of our list is Majaz Regulus in the world. Three years after the war between humans and demons, the Xianyuan family and the Mo family. Two demon hunter households, allied. Shi, si, the daughter of the demon king, lost her memory and became a cute, naive woman who didn't understand the world. To save the Xianyuan family, she impersonated the oldest daughter of the family, Xianyuan Yu, and married into the Mo family, falling in love with the eldest son of the Mo family, Mo Yen. Number 3 of our list is Kill Me Love Me. Prince Murong Jingha of Dian led the Weibei army to regain the lost territory of Qingzhou. After Zhang Jie entered the city, Qingzhou suffered a fire. Rumors in the city were that Murong Jing and General Weibei hated the people of Qingzhou for betraying Dian, so after entering the city, they issued the order to set fire to the city and massacre it. As a result, he changed from General Weibei, who was a righteous man, to someone who everyone wanted to kill. General Tuesday Mei Lin, a girl from Qingzhou who lost her loved ones in the fire, vowed to kill the culprit of the city with her own hands. Mei Lin entered the secret organization's secret factory, drank the poison of M.O. Vane, and became a dead soldier. After eight years of brutal training, she received her first assassination mission. This mission was actually to assassinate her, and she had been suffering day and night for it. The ultimate enemy who took his life was the Prince of Dian, Murong Jingha. Therefore, under the arrangement of the secret factory, Mei Lin became one of the hundreds of Xi'an beauties who came to Xi'an to get married, and waited for an opportunity to assassinate Murong Jingha. But what Mei Lin didn't know was that the master of the secret factory who planned and arranged the assassination was none other than Murong Jingha. Jing and herself. Number 4 of our list is a moment but forever. To retrieve the heavenly realm's treasure, goddess Wu Shuang descends to earth to assassinate Yuan Zhong, the high priest of Yohu clan. Wu Shuang discovers other secrets in the process, and the two fall in love and join hands to save the world. In the war between gods and demons, the artifact god's left hand that heavenly god Taiha uses to seal the demon is cut off and falls into the mortal realm. Taiha and the other gods fall into an eternal slumber and mortal realm hasn't had a miracle ever since. The Warring Ghost Clan's uprising triggers a war but is defeated by Yohu Clan's Yuan Zhong, who gets hold of God's left hand. Ushering in a new era of prosperity, Yohu Clan becomes Mortal Realm's gods. Entrusted by the Heavenly Realm to get back God's left hand, Goddess Wu Shuang enters the Yohu Clan as a personal mate of Yuan Zhong. Yuan Zhong doesn't resist God's left hand and his clansmen isolate and slander him. Sympathetic, Wu Shuang decides to help him remove the seal so that he can be happy. But Yuan Zhong has his motive to break free of the seal and destroy the world. The Warring Ghost Clan's return causes panic within the Yohu Clan. Yuan Zhong takes the chance to go down the mountain to remove the seal. But on the way, he is healed by Wu Shuang. 
The two of them express their feelings to each other and fall in love. But the villain takes advantage of the male lead's feelings, causing him to break the god's hand, and also traps Wu Shuang. In the end, Yuan Zhong rescues Wu Shuang, and the two work together to defeat Han Nu, restoring order in the world. Number 5 of our list is Fox Spirit Matchmaker, Zhu Yi. It tells the story of Dong Fang Huizhu and Wang Quan Hongye, the helmsmen of two major families, Dong Fang family and Wang Quan family, trying to regain their strength in a situation where humans and monsters are at odds with each other. The story of the alliance and working together to stabilize the situation. Number 6 of our list is in Blossom. In the sinful city of Heung, Han Yu, who was throwing lots of fruit and carts, married Yang Kai Wei, whom everyone despises. On the day of the wedding, Yang Kai Wei was killed, and the suspect was Pan Yu. Yang Kai Wei, who resurrected from the dead, returned fiercely under the guise of evil girl Sheng Wan Ji and was about to expose Pan Yu's true face. In the process of bravely fighting against the evil forces of the four great clans and investigating old cases, the two hearts came closer again. Yang Kai Wei found out that the real murderer who killed her was someone else, and Pan Yu loved her deeply from beginning to end. Everything is about to be perfect, but the people behind the scenes once again set up a trap, trying to push the two to an end of doom. Number 7 of our list is Love and Sword. Fang Yi, an ordinary-looking urban otaku girl, unexpectedly fell into the world of martial arts. She thought she would start a legendary mode of gratification and revenge, but instead, Rong Shuquang, a swordsman with no martial arts skills, appeared instead. At a critical moment, Yan Shao, a ruthless bounty hunter, came to the rescue and sent her to Yuchi Villa where there was a hidden conspiracy and undercurrents. In the villa, Rong Shu Kuang tears up the lotus bitch and kicks the fake hero, and even discovers that behind the conspiracy, there is a treacherous situation and unknown tenderness. Number 8 of our list is Better Halves. Sure Fake is the pampered daughter of a family of matchmakers who only wants to eat, sleep and be happy, but her mother is adamant that she inherits the family trade of matchmaking. Lu Qi pretends to be a wealthy man and is secretly sent by the emperor to look into influential forces within the imperial city. Therefore, Lu Qi pretends to be Sher Fake's customer to get intel on his assignment. While Sher Fake finds a match for Lu Qi, Sher Fake's mother is framed and removed from the official matchmakers list, pushing Sher Fake to restore their family name. As Sher Fake and Lu Qi work together to solve different relationship problems, they soon come to expose a bigger conspiracy and develop feelings for one another. Number 9 of our list is Moonlight Mystique. Bai Shua, the youngest daughter of the general's mansion, made a vow to cultivate immortality as a way to repay a favor. While on her journey to seek immortality, she unexpectedly saved the powerful demon god, Fan Yu. Initially strangers, they gradually went from mutual manipulation to mutual affection, and eventually, both fell in love. Despite facing many obstacles, their love was strong enough to overcome any limitations, allowing them to embrace each other truly. Number 10 of our list is the legendary Chitosama. The wealthy young lady Jun Qinglan had her home confiscated and her family exterminated. Her fiancé Li Songyao not only failed to save her, but also disfigured her appearance. Jun Qinglan escaped by chance and changed into the number one widower, just to reverse the case and take revenge. But she didn't want to meet Li Songyao again. The person she once loved became cold-blooded and cruel, and even kidnapped her as a male concubine and imprisoned her. A game began again. Our top 10 ends here. Let's see some bonus. Number 1 of our bonus is a forbidden marriage. A woman from the demon sect is determined to realize her dream. They say that Shu Shu from the righteous sect is a very good person, helpful and unorthodox. She wants to marry such a man. Number 2 of our bonus is dramatic self-help strategy. Actress Li Wei Wei time travels to ancient times and takes the place of the silly princess Li Kai Wei, who is engaged to Shen Hua Jin. But on the day before they are scheduled to marry, he's murdered. 
Suddenly she finds that they are all stuck in a time loop, and so Hua Jin and Wei Wei try to save him and break the time loop by solving who is targeting him and why. Thank you for watching.